anybody's going to try to flirt with Johnny. I, well, what's wrong with me? And so I went up to Sasha and said, Sasha, Courtney wants to go out with Johnny. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrities who played matchmaker. I'm like a Can't matchmaker. get a better matchmaker than that. Yeah. That's the real deal. Marriage is it. Yeah. For this list, we're looking at the times when famous people played Cupid and helped create our favorite showbiz couples. Which celebrities would you set up on a date? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Jensen Ackles A pair of good friends that worked together on Supernatural made their already solid friendship even stronger thanks to a little matchmaking. I just wish that I had been there to see Yeah, none of this would have happened without you. Jensen Ackles set up his buddy Jeffrey Dean Morgan with actress Hilary Burton during a blind double date. The unexpected meeting ended with Morgan and Burton sharing mutual interest and some tequila. Over the following years, they took their budding romance public and went on to marry and raise a family. They even played husband and wife on an emotional episode of The Walking Dead. Baby, you have three treatments left. That's it. Okay, so we are going to get your strength up and then I will put you on my motorcycle and I will take you wherever you want to go, wherever you can dream of. Of course, none of it would have been possible without Ackles special knack for finding perfect pairings. Also, like no one's gonna say I love you to you as, as strongly as I will. Number nine, Jonathan Groff. After dating for a while, Frozen director Jennifer Lee and stage and screen star Alfred Molina made things official in 2021. It won't be what you expect. Uh, it will surprise you, but it hopefully in good ways. The couple was seemingly married by the extremely talented Jonathan Groff. I will fight the fight and win the war for your love, for your praise, and I'll love you till my dying day. His presence at the wedding is pretty appropriate since he was the one that set the two up. Although we're not sure if Groff got the ball rolling when they were all making Frozen 2, his matchmaking efforts definitely did not go unnoticed. Whoever saved you, I love them. <laughs> I wish I knew who it was. Jennifer was quoted as saying they quote owe him the world on her social media. Guess this pairing was too good to just let it go. Number 8. Ed Sheeran, Harry Styles, and Sasha Baron Cohen Courtney Cox has Ed Sheeran, Harry Styles, and Sasha Baron Cohen to thank for introducing her to longtime love Johnny McDade. The actress and hitmaker Ed Sheeran became close friends when the singer would often stay at Cox's home during his stateside travels. On one fateful Sunday morning hangout, he invited a bunch of famous names like Styles and Cohen. Cox ultimately found herself crushing on Snow Patrol's Johnny McDade. I remember seeing Johnny and going, oh wow. He's really, he's intense, he's got those eyes, and he was playing the piano, and then I thought, oh, he's really, really handsome, but I didn't do anything about it then. Upon seeing she was a little nervous about approaching, Cohen broke the ice with a joke, while Styles pushed McDade to follow through. Harry Styles was in the conversation, and Harry's like, if you don't ask her out, I think he like threatened to do something crazy. Like I'm gonna, I don't know if I forgot what it was. It was pretty bad, but their direct actions and Sheeran's invitation led to McDade and Cox going out and starting a strong relationship. I am more settled. I am more comfortable. I'm really happy. Yes, happy with partner Johnny McDade. Super happy. Number seven, Drew Barrymore. Longtime pals Drew Barrymore and Jimmy Fallon go way back. You're the one and only. You're Drew Barrymore. You're iconic. A definite high point in their friendship came when she stepped in as a host for an episode of Saturday Night Live. During the episode, she brought along her friend and Flower Films colleague Nancy Juvonen. Barrymore took time backstage to introduce Juvonen to the comedian and future late night host Fallon. She and Jimmy were practicing a sketch and I went in and I kind of crept in quietly and all of a sudden some <laughs> Jimmy goes, hey, Nancy. You're Nancy? Hi, it's so nice to meet you. All three would come together again for the movie Fever Pitch. Ironically enough, Barrymore and Fallon were playing a couple. But Javonin was still close by because her production company was fittingly producing the movie. After the sparks started flying between her and Fallon, the two went on to marry and have two kids. I just probably... knew we were going to be together. Like, it wasn't like, we got to get married or not get married. Number six, Nicole Richie. After former The Simple Life star turned fashion designer Nicole Richie married Good Charlotte's Joel Madden, she helped her brother-in-law Benji Madden find his soulmate. Felt more to me, like a cell, a 
Sometime around 2014, she introduced him to the one and only Cameron Diaz. Eventually, the couple said their I do's in 2015. When Diaz retired from acting, she split her time between various projects and raising the couple's daughter, Radix. Benj puts her to bed, like he's so good. He's like such an amazing father, I'm so lucky. Richie has gone on record saying that she is totally, quote, responsible for matching up the couple. We're sure Cameron and Benji are deeply grateful she did. It's something that never happened to both Benj and I. We're so, we're just so happy. Number five, Chloe Grace Moretz. When singer Megan Trainer was single, she never shied away from asking to be set up. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. Little did she know that one meeting with an actress would lead her to find the love of her life. Chloe Grace Moretz thought that her longtime friend, Daryl Sabara, would be the perfect match for Megan Trainer. She said she really wanted me to meet a good guy. I knew Daryl really well from when we did a play together. Right. And I set them up and they're engaged to be married. It turned out that this instinct was 100% correct. After Trainer and Sabara went bowling together, their romance took off. The former Spy Kids actor and All About That Bass musician went on to marry in 2018. A few years later, the couple had a son, Riley. The next time you hear Trainer's song, Marry Me, you may think of the time Moretz introduced the singer to Sabara. Won't you marry me, marry me today? Number four, Billy Porter. It was a match that was made in Broadway heaven. You wanna get ahead? Yes. Fools who run their mouths off wind up dead. While future Hamilton Tony winning actor Leslie Odom Jr. attended the prestigious Carnegie Mellon University, he met Kinky Boots alum Billy Porter. Sex is in the heel, so just embrace it. At the time, Porter was working as a professor and gave Odom Jr. the opportunity to be the assistant director for a production of Once on This Island. Eventually, future waitress star Nicolette Robinson joined the cast. The theater is, it's been my first love. It's where my heart really is. Her working relationship with Odom Jr. soon became something more. After dating for a time, the two got married and started raising a theatrical family. These two Broadway stars might not have gotten together if it wasn't for Porter's keen eye for talent. Number three, Jesse Tyler Ferguson. For Sofia Vergara, a heartbreaking breakup eventually resulted in a much happier turn of events. Soon after publicly announcing that things between her and her ex Nick Loeb were over, her modern family co-star Jesse Tyler Ferguson got a very special call. Uh, yeah, I just want to make sure we're 100% clear on exactly what happened. Oh, we're clear. I told you. What? You don't believe me? It turned out Joe Manganiello was calling to request Vergara's info. At first, the TV starlet was hesitant to jump back into things. And we got to talking and I said, look, I said, I know you just got out of this long-term relationship and, and if you need to be single, then I understand. But after getting some encouragement from Ferguson, she gave in and passed along her number. Before they knew it, she and Manganiello were a hot item. The two tied the knot in an adorable and joyful wedding ceremony in 2015. Does he speak Spanish? No, he doesn't. He does thank not. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say thank God? <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes it's good to have secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, Emily Blunt. The Devil Wears Prada unintentionally led to the formation of a very strong Hollywood couple. Emily Blunt shared the screen with the fantastic Stanley Tucci. She's on her way. Tell everyone. Oh, she's not supposed to be here until nine. Her driver just text message and her facial is ruptured a disc. God, these people. At some point, the actress introduced him to her sister Felicity. But nothing moved forward at the time because Tucci was married. Unfortunately, he lost his wife, Kate Tucci. But after grieving his loss, the actor reunited with Felicity Blunt at her sister's wedding. This chance meeting developed into a strong and heartwarming pair. She loves to cook too, and that's how we sort of met and fell in love through. Well, we met you actually wooed through. You her by cooking for her. No, not really. No, we, I, I, we, she in a way wooed me by telling me how much she loved to eat. While together, Tucci and Felicity Blunt have overcome health struggles and raised children. The strength of their powerful bond might even make Miranda Priestly shed a tear. I don't really care what anybody writes about me. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications.
Number 1. Haley Steinfeld After collaborating with Joe Jonas and his band DNCE, Haley Steinfeld got an interesting text from her good friend Sophie Turner. Oh, we're on the right side of rock bottom. The Game of Thrones actor was intrigued by the musician. Steinfeld would later admit that she wasn't the one who introduced the two. However, she did encourage her friend Turner to keep meeting with Jonas. In 2019, the pair got hitched in a spontaneous Las Vegas ceremony attended by famous pals like Diplo and the other Jonas Brothers. Your wedding photographer was Diplo, is that right? Well, we didn't um, choose him to be our wedding photographer, he just kind of decided to, to live stream it. They followed that event with a full wedding ceremony a few months later, and welcomed their first child in 2020. Who knows what would have happened if Steinfeld hadn't put in a good word for Jonas. This is post-meeting me. I actually I, picked out the costume for him and I did his hair. I thought that's how he wooed you. Yeah. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.